So we're out here at the Palms getting ready. Uh, Wayne just happened. Junie Browning is here with us. Um, well, there's, you know, there's so much to get into. First of all, I think the last time I talked to you, there was probably about six weeks left in the show. Um, and I asked you at the time, to that point, were you happy with the way you were portrayed? Were you happy with the way you were kind of portrayed down the stretch? I mean, not, not necessarily happy, happy but uh, you know, I don't have too many regrets. You know, you know, it sort of helped me out. Everyone knows who I am. Yeah. Uh, you know, and since the show and stuff, I grew up a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I, I realized, you know, it wasn't as funny as what I was thinking. You know, uh, in the long run, that kind of persona or something can sort of hurt you. So, you know, I've been working on everything to try to become a better fighter, a better person. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, just being out of extreme for the last three months helped me with everything. It hum it's, it's humbled me a whole lot. Every time. So, you know, it's one thing to be kind of labeled a, a wacko and whatever, bipolar, and, you know, you're drinking and this and that. It's another, towards the end of the show, for so many people to come out and say, hey, the guy quit. What do you think of that? Um, I mean, I should have fought harder. I shouldn't have gave up so easy. Uh, my cardio wasn't there and stuff, and, uh, you know, when my cardio isn't there, I, I tend not to fight as hard. And I did, I mean, to be honest, I did sort of give up. I mean, it's not taking anything away, credit away from Efren because he did put it on tight and everything. I'm not saying I could have got away. But I could have put in more of an effort to get away. But uh, I was to the point, you know, three fights in six weeks is hard. I mean, most fighters train months and months for just one particular fight. I was just, just sort of drained, and um, my heart just wasn't into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, I would love to fight it again if it was rescheduled. You know what I mean? Do you feel like the house, the, the house kind of mentally broke you a little bit? Yeah, I definitely did. You know what I mean? I mean, not, it don't mental break everyone, you know what I mean? But, you know, some of the stuff I was doing and... Uh, had so much pressure on me and stuff, it, it, it messed with me really bad. Yeah. I mean, when I'm back at home and stuff, I have certain things that keep me stable. Uh, you know, people around me, you know, I care about and stuff, so it's a little bit easier. You know, being there, just, it was real hard on me. When you watch, you see yourself losing. Maybe you're not giving, um, you know, as much uh, effort in there to, you know, really go hard. And then you hear Mir say, I'm glad he lost, and Dana is smirking. Yeah, uh... You know, uh, I knew Mir was really upset with me, you know what I mean? So I can't really say too much about him, you know, hating on me a little bit. But, because, uh, I mean, I, he picked me number one, you know what I mean? He, he, he believed in me and stuff, and I let him down. You know what I mean? And not just let him down, but uh, a bit different if I try a little bit harder and put more into it, but I didn't. Yeah. So uh, I mean, he has all, you know, he has uh, the right to be angry with me. You know what I mean? Hopefully I'll help. I'll earn it back after tomorrow night. Well, you get a chance, and you're going to go against this guy who he really uh, kind of fell in love with in, in yeah. David Kaplan. Is there any part of you that watched and said, you know what, Coach Mir, maybe there are different ways to coach people. Maybe when someone kind of reaches out and really needs to be coddled, maybe uh, you should help, or do you kind of just go with the camp? You know what, I was acting like a kind of a puss, and maybe I deserved uh, it. You know, I could, I could see either way. You yeah. Know what I, mean? Uh, I mean, he does have a little bit different coaching style than I like, but at the same time, um, you know, maybe I wasn't the most coachable person, you know I mean? <laughs> and I still shouldn't have went. It was, it wouldn't, it didn't make it any easier on him uh, the way I was acting. You know what I mean? I'm sure he, he wasn't uh, very, uh, you know, looking forward to coaching me and stuff, especially the way I acting, because I didn't, I don't think he wanted to show people that he was supporting. You know, I mean, the way I was acting and stuff. Right. Uh, so I mean, I don't have nothing against him. You know I mean, at first when I went off the show and stuff, I had hard feelings and stuff. But then I wrote, looked back and realized how I was acting. Yeah. It was, it was pretty immature and stuff. So. Can you comment on the, the integrity of the show, too, like in terms of just how real it is? Because now there, you've got some other cast members coming out saying, hey, you know what, after the first thing, you kind of knew he could do it. And then he, I mean, you, were you planning stuff, or were those really spontaneous explosions? It wasn't or? necessarily planning anything. It's just I just didn't care. That, yeah. You know what I mean? Like other people, they, they'll put on a certain act with the cameras and stuff. If they're, you know, if, people, if they... Want people to, if they want to be portrayed a certain way, they will. I was the kind of person, you know what I mean? If I was angry, I'd show it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially because uh, a lot of the guys were a little bigger and stuff, they feel like they can push around, like, you know, skip you in line type thing. You know? Yeah. And I don't put up with that at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially being in the house that long, and I was already pretty irritated. Yeah. Always cutting away, you're yeah. miserable. So uh, I exploded pretty easily. And I just didn't care what the cameras were on me. You know what I mean? And uh, you sat on the show several times, Ed. You never did that kind of stuff before. You've, ne have you, you've never had incidents I mean, where... No, no, I got in trouble back on the stuff, okay. but I never threw glass at people. You know what I mean? I never tried to drown someone in a pool or yeah. something like that. You know what I <laughs> mean? I just... I have people back home, too. People will break it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and hold me back, calm me down, yeah. something like that, and it'll be all cool. Uh, 
And, um, you know, and, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was, I've always been, you know, sort of the troublemaker growing up. Yeah. But I'm getting better, you know what I mean? That's what everything is about is opportunities. Like Dana was saying, the show changes people, and I think it really does. Has there any, uh, early on, were there any incidents at all at uh, Couture where you, like, you, maybe initially you lost a little temper and you're like, not listen, once. that doesn't happen here? Yeah. Not once. Never? Not one time. Is that a matter of respect or maybe just maybe I just mean, a, be a better atmosphere than the, the pressure yeah, cooker? It, it's just a better, I mean, you're just, you don't have to go to the gym, to the house, to the gym, to the house. Yeah. I'm stuck on my, those guys all the time. I, mean, I go to the gym and train real hard, and I go do my own thing. You know what I mean? If you don't like someone, I mean, I like everyone there, but say you necessarily don't like someone, you don't have to be around them. You don't have to go in from the gym to the house with them, right. back to the gym, and just go do your own thing. Right. So in between practices and stuff, I get to relax. I don't have to think about it. You know, I mean, I'll show you. It's, it's not like that. Yeah. Say you have a problem with someone at the gym, that problem's going to get carried over into the house, and, that, and then it's going to keep escalating, escalating, and then someone's getting glass on that. Right. <laughs> you know, so. All right, so break down this fight because, uh, you know, Kaplan, we get a decent read on him on the show, but then he fights Nova and he goes in there and basically puts his chin out and lets him punch yeah. him in the face. Um, uh, he, I mean, he looks, he looks like a pretty good fighter. Um, my take on it was uh, that he, the one negative for me is he looks a little small for the weight, but beyond that, he looks like he's a pretty well-rounded guy. Yeah, I, I feel the same thing. I think, uh, he, I think he's a little bit smaller for 55 or so, you know, and he has pretty good striking, so I'll use his height against some stuff, and I've been working on my footwork a lot. He's a tough guy. He can take some punches. I think people don't realize that because from the show, he just made a dumb decision. I think it'll be, I think it'll be an entertaining fight. Actually, I think it has a chance to be fight of the night because I'm guessing that it could be a slugfest. Yeah, I think it. Would be, yeah. I think it'll be fight of the night. All right, so you fought Escudero. You've seen what Nova did there, and you know everyone's talking about how great he is. He's a gigantic favorite here in Vegas. He's like uh, a five Nova. to one favorite. Yeah. Um, Yet, you know, we only saw what we saw in those fights on the reality show. So how good is he and how much of a shot does uh, Escudero think, have? I think uh, Nova's a beast. Uh, I think a 5-1 to one underdog for Efren is, is stupid. I think they're not giving Efren enough credit. Yeah. People don't realize uh, he's, he's tough, too. He's not going to go in there and lay down like anybody else uh, Nova had. You know what I, mean? Uh, I mean, Nova's tough, but it's not going to go the way you think it is. Yeah. Efren's going to put up a fight for sure. All right. Hey, one last thing. When you you were around all these guys, and generally, well, at times, the guy who wins and makes the finals, those guys don't always turn out to be the best guy yeah, off yeah, the show. Yeah. So that might be you. Um, yeah, yeah. Is there another guy at 205 or 55 that you walked away and you're like, you know what, maybe he underperformed a little bit, and he could be, he may be the star out of this whole thing that we don't know about? Uh, I, th I honestly think me and Shane Nelson. I think we both had the same problem, conditioning and stuff. And I'm the kind of person I need to prepare for a fight and stuff, you know what I mean? Get my mind right. Three fights and... Six weeks is just too many. Yeah. Uh, I was always just, you know, because normally I cut a lot of weight. So for one fight, if you have three fights, you have to keep cutting. It's hard, it's hard to do that way. And Shane, he's, he's really, really, he's, he's better than what he showed on the show. And I think I am too. And, uh, you know, hopefully a few fights in the UFC people will realize that.